This video introduces the Operation View menu of the remote controller. Tap Begin to enter Operation View. This is the button for selecting the operation mode, which can be Root, Manual, Fruit Tree, Root Mapping, and Fruit Tree Mapping. This is the aircraft status bar, displayed in green when all systems are working properly, in yellow when a common warning exists, and in red when a critical warning exists. You can tap the status bar to access device health, where you can view the status of each system. Tapping a module will display its detailed status information. The aircraft connection strength icon shows the strength of the connection signal received by the drone. Make sure that the signal is strong before operating the drone. The aircraft positioning signal icon shows the number of serving satellites. It is recommended to operate the drone when the signal of at least 15 satellites can be received. If an RTK signal source is connected, RTK and the satellite quantity will be displayed, and you can tap the icon to view the positioning status. Always pay attention to the battery level indicated by this icon during flights to prevent the situation where the drone cannot return home due to a low battery. You can tap the icon to go to intelligent battery settings. For this current or recommended payload icon, the first number indicates the available payload capacity, while the second number shows the recommended payload. Here is the RC status, with the icon above indicating the internal battery level and the icon below representing the external battery level. This icon can be tapped for settings, which we will introduce in detail later. When you tap the Add Prescription Map icon, you can either select one from the local device or import one from the cloud. After enabling Measure Tool, you can view the field boundary and the lengths of the start and RTH flight routes on the map. To erase a flight route, tap the Clean Flight Route icon. Tapping the Center Aircraft or RC icon can relocate the drone or home point to the center of the view. You can enable Follow Aircraft to keep the drone at the center of the map view or disable the option to allow free dragging of the map. Enter the Layer Switch settings. Map Type option allows you to switch between Standard and Satellite, where the latter is recommended. If you set Overlay HD Map to Personal Account Map, the HD map generated after mapping is loaded and displayed. With Rotate Map enabled, the map adjusts its orientation as you rotate the remote controller. Under Visual Aids, multiple options are available, including Horizontal, Orientation, and Grid. You can select any or all of them. Enabling Multitask allows multiple fields to be selected and covered in a single task. These are the main operation buttons. You can tap them to perform operations as required. Alternatively, you can use the side buttons for these operations. In the dashboard, the flight and task status parameters of the drone are displayed and updated in real time. This is the radar indicator, which displays the location and distance of the obstacles. If you tap the radar indicator, a setting panel is displayed, where you can enable or disable the multidirectional obstacle avoidance, attitude stabilization, and obstacle bypassing functions. The icon of the disabled function will appear in red. It is recommended to enable all of them during a task. When the drone is in flight, this red line represents the value and direction of the flight speed. This is the FPV Live View. By tapping the view or pressing a button on the right side of the remote controller, you can switch between the map view and the FPV Live View. Next, we explore the settings menu, which gathers the settings for the aircraft, spraying or spreading system, remote controller, sensors, RTK, battery, and image transmission. First, we are going to introduce aircraft settings. Connection routing and RTH speed specifies the flight speed of an AGRA's drone when it goes to the starting point, home point, or break point during an automatic task. You can set the speed as needed. Connection routing and RTH altitude determines the initial ascend height of the drone during takeoff or return, relative to the takeoff point. The two buttons under Update Home Point are used to refresh the home point to the current locations of the drone and remote controller, respectively. The drone will return to the new home point after the refresh. 
For the drone behavior settings, tank empty action can be set to hover, ascend 3 meters, or return to home. If you select ascend 3 meters, ensure that there are no obstacles, such as wires above the drone. If you select return to home, ensure that the home point is free of people and safe to land. Task complete action can be set to hover or return to home. RC signal lost can be set to hover, return to home, or landing. The landing option will cause the drone to land in place. Please exercise caution when setting this parameter. If the route has been proven to be safe, you can enable continue task on signal lost to allow the drone to continue the task on signal lost. Spotlight can be set to auto, off, or on. In auto mode, the spotlight is automatically turned on in dim conditions. You can tap flight optimization to enter the flight route optimization screen. Auto route spacing adjustment, smart resume, and display empty tank point are all intelligent route planning functions and are recommended to be enabled. Rectify calibration offset function allows you to fix any offset created by applying field with calibration points. By tapping flight protection, you can enter the screen for setting flight safety restrictions, including the max flight distance and max flight altitude. Frame arm lock-in detection and safe landing confirmed are suggested to enable for safe operation. Do not enable allow attitude mode in regular tasks. Unlock GEO zone is provided to unlock GEO zones when necessary. You can tap sensor calibration for IMU and gimbal calibration. Calibration is required only when a calibration prompt is displayed on the screen. However, if you have disabled RTK orientation on the RTK settings screen, please promptly calibrate the compass. The remote controller needs to be linked to the drone before task execution. Usually, they are linked together out of the box, and there is no need to link them again. To link a remote controller to a drone, tap linking on the remote controller, and then press and hold the power button on the powered on drone for 5 seconds. A change in the remote controller status LED from red to green signifies successful linking. With the Restore Unfinished Task button, you can quickly find the fields involved in unfinished tasks and resume the tasks. The Spraying and Spreader option can be disabled in scenarios where the payload system is not involved, such as pollination with drones, and needs to be enabled during other tasks. If sprinkler atomizing is disabled, the centrifugal motors of the sprinklers do not work. This option must be enabled for regular tasks. With spraying system real-time data enabled, you can view the flow rate, amount sprayed, remaining amount, payload and tank, status of the liquid level gauge, and information about each pump and centrifugal sprinkler. If there are errors in the detected remaining amount, it is possible to manually input data as a temporary fix. When doing so, pay close attention to the spray tank level to avoid damaging the spraying system due to the pump operating without load. After a task is completed, please refill fresh water and tap clean hose to clean the hose of residual pesticide. The clear trapped air button is available to clear trapped air from the delivery pump hoses. You can press and hold the spray button for 2 seconds to quickly enable this function. After flow meter error alert is set, an alert will be triggered when the difference between the set and actual flow rates reaches the specified percentage, which is recommended to be 15%. Spinner disc type can be set based on your requirements. If you have changed spinner discs, remember to select the matching spinner disc type. Tap to enter the spraying system calibration screen. When you find that the actual sprayed pesticide amount does not match the setting, or if you have changed a pump or installed a sprinkler, you can calibrate the spraying system for more accurate flow measurements. It is recommended to first perform weight sensor calibration, then tap the flow meter calibration, and finally tap the pump calibration. If you have replaced the weight sensor, it is recommended to input the weight sensor coefficient as prompted. On the RC settings screen, select the stick mode based on your preference. The available options include mode 1, mode 2, and mode 3. 
When the remote controller is powered on and the LED flashes cyan with rapid alarm beeps, calibrate the remote controller as prompted. After tapping Buttons Overview, you can view the functions of all buttons. Custom button settings allow you to change button functions based on your operation habits. For example, you can set the L1 button as the spotlight switch. On the sensor settings screen, the multidirectional obstacle avoidance function is provided. Once enabled, the drone alerts you of obstacles within 16 meters horizontally and 5 meters above and slows down, if necessary, to prevent collision. To ensure operation safety, you are advised to enable multidirectional obstacle avoidance throughout the entire process. The task scenario needs to be selected based on the actual situation, otherwise, the obstacle detection and bypass functions will be affected. After the altitude stabilization function is enabled, the aircraft follows terrain automatically and adjusts altitude during flight based on set height above crops. You can enable the obstacle bypassing function as needed. The radar sensitivity is adjustable on the advanced settings screen with larger values indicating more sensitive obstacle detection by the drone. Side obstacle detection distance can be set to 4 to 6 meters. We recommend enabling enhanced obstacle avoidance. Here is the RTK settings. RTK is a service that implements positioning at a centimeter level accuracy for the drone after being enabled. You can set RTK signal source to DRTK2 mobile station or custom network RTK. If custom network RTK is selected, you need to input the account information provided by the service provider. The RTK orientation function helps resist electromagnetic interference and is recommended to be enabled. If this function is disabled, only the compass will be used for orientation. The intelligent battery screen is used to set the intelligent flight battery. The battery consists of 14 battery cells. The smaller the difference between the highest and lowest voltages, the better the battery status. These parameters indicate the total voltage, battery temperature, cycle count, and battery current, respectively. The at low battery parameter can be set to warning or RTH. The drone will perform the set action when the battery level reaches the specified threshold. When the battery level reaches the threshold specified by critically low battery, the drone will land in place. If you are a beginner, consider increasing the value of at low battery and decreasing that of critically low battery. For example, you can set the two parameters to 30% and 5%, respectively. On the image transmission settings screen, you can simply select auto mode. 